Hey, good morning YouTube. Still working away on this project. It's finally starting to get interesting. I'm getting someplace. So I've got both of the uh, mounting boards painted up. I bought a, a pretty decent uh, exterior white paint, semi-gloss, and it covered real nice. So I've got, uh, I just got done putting this hasp on here. I've got it mounted to the base, which will be bolted to the rack. And then this comes up over the top. And that's where I'll put my lock. And then the, the hasp will cover up those screws so they can't be accessed when it's locked. But now that I'm getting ready to mount the base onto the rack next thing I need to do is bolt this hinge or the swivel underneath or in between the two pieces there and I need to bolt this to the bottom board first because once I get that mounted on the rack I won't be able to access the bolts and then I'll put the top piece on after that's done but I wanted to show you kind of how I have this set up. I have these two sideboards that I installed that go eh, about halfway down the board. And then underneath the top piece, I've bolted a half inch piece of plywood. Just an extra support here for the hasp lock. And then that's going to act as a uh, centering mechanism when I swing it back over I can't get it lined up using one hand but there we go that's what's going to keep the top plate once it's locked in position from swinging forward and backward and coming undone when I'm going down the road and these are glued and screwed onto the baseboard so that should give it plenty of support. So if I have to slam on the brakes or anything like that, it's not going to come undone while I'm going down the road. In addition to having this locked over the top. But the main support is the half inch sheet of ply or piece of plywood I glued and screwed to the bottom of this top plate to give it the uh, place to align and stay locked in. All right, so next thing I'll... Uh, get that bottom board or get the uh, swivel bolted on and then bolt the bottom board to the rack. I wanted to show you before I get this completely covered up this uh, boat seat swivel that I bought is uh, called the heavy duty model and if you can see in there it's got enough bearings to completely form a circle. There's Some of these are built with just a, a few bearings and kind of a brace or a keeper to keep the bearings spaced apart from each other but this one has a full circle of bearings and I thought that sounded good it makes sense to me so it's supported in all directions 360 degrees all the way around that circle by a bearing and it has a good amount of grease on the bearings too at least for now hopefully it will last a while we'll see it depends on how much weather it gets but Anyway, wanted to show you that before I bolt this to the rack and get the top plate on there where you can no longer see the bearings. But got to bolt it onto the rack, and I just have the rack setting in the receiver hitch. But anyway, that's what it looks like, guys. I think it's going to work out pretty good, at least so far. Boy, that white is an awful bright white. I'm gonna set the box on there next just to see what that looks like I'm curious to see what the white box looks like and I'll uh, come back and show you that but this latch I think is gonna work out okay it fits kinda tight so you kinda gotta push it up there and then pop it on but that's gonna when the lock is in there keep this from lifting up so that it can't come out of those those little brackets or the uh, the wood brace underneath there can't get the camera down there to see it but yeah there we go 
That way it's not going to lift up far enough to uh, pop out of that track so it will stay in place. And um, you know and then it'll have a lock on there and somebody it's gonna it's not a hundred percent bulletproof but it's gonna keep somebody busy if they're trying to take it off of there. But the main thing is just to be able to lock it so that it stays in place when I'm going down the road. And you gotta pop it up back off of there. That way this latch stays on the trailer and then when I lift this up it'll pivot out there wherever you want it. 90 degrees, 100 degrees, or at 180, or heck it'll even go till it hits the bumper. But it swivels nice, at least at this point it does. Of course I'm going to need a brace underneath there when I have the weight of the box and the refrigerator on it. But I'll probably just do that rarely if I need to get into the, the back of the van. And uh, yeah, so let me set the box on there and we'll see what that looks like. Here's what it looks like with the box sitting on there. Of course I don't have, as you can see, I don't have the solar panel on the box yet. Or the fans installed. Those are going to be next. i got to get a wiring harness built and get those fans installed and get all that set up. So that'll be in the next video. But that's what it'll look like. Minus having the uh, solar panel on top. But that should keep it cool, as cool as it could be anyway. I can't see that it'll be any warmer than the outside air temperature, ambient temperature, whatever that ends up being. 80, 90, 100, depends on where I'm at and what time of year. And of course I can open the box lid. I don't have it bolted down yet. But my bolt holes do line up then I'll be putting those metal bars across there and bolting it to the top plate I do have to do a little bit of work on the latch it's not got not quite gonna clear the box right there so I'm gonna have to grind the edge of that down a little bit so it'll close I was afraid that might be an issue and it is but I think it's a pretty simple fix without taking away too much metal up there. And then when it's bolted down and latched, it'll be fine. All right, so the project's coming along, guys. Next step, get these fans bolted in here and then start working on the wiring. So I'll start doing some videos about how I'm gonna put all that together. Hope you're all doing well. We'll catch you on the next one.